Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across of this channel please consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing and don't forget to press that notification bell. It should be the only way that you'll be updated when we upload something new. When you give out something new, uh, the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And thank you so much for watching videos on this channel. By the way, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below share and comment i will always be more than happy to get back to you right now today we have the latest news the latest the breaking and the latest information coming from the uae remember before we had travel restrictions because of the omicron variant of the covid 19 to our brothers and sisters in uganda so if you're a traveler that is coming from uganda and you are planning to travel to the uae or you are planning to go to the seven M, one of the seven Emirates that make up the UAE, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharija, Oman, or any other Emirate. This is just good news for you. What am I talking about? Remember, before there was a travel ban, there was a travel restrictions for some time for Ugandans and uh, other African countries to move to the UAE. All flights were cancelled. Very many people were affected in one way or the other. Those that were affected. Uh, tickets cancelled. Yes, it was too bad for our brothers and sisters. There was a lot of uh, lifted restrictions and a few things were put in place, like where people would take a COVID test within the 48 hours, another COVID test within the six hours of, uh, of, 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 of departure from the airport. So I think there was a lot of inconveniences for people, especially travelers from Uganda to the UAE going to Dubai, Abu Dhabi and other uh, seven Emirates that make up Dubai. However, yesterday, the good news for you, uh, the, the restrictions have been lifted. What am I talking about? Remember, before you had to take two COVID tests, two negative COVID tests, one that is 48 hours and another one six hours prior to the departure of your flight hope i'm clear with you guys on the same page and this created a lot of convenience uh inconvenience to some people however the good news is that all this one have been lifted again you are only supposed to take a negative pcr test within the 48 hours so meaning that you are only going to take one negative PCR test, not two negative PCR tests, as before. And then that negative PCR test that you're supposed to take, it should be within the 48 hours before the departure of your flight. That is very interesting. Remember, every country is trying to protect its citizens and is trying to protect its people or its population or its community away from the deadly variant, the, the Omicron uh, COVID-19 variant that has caused lots of many people's life and uh, 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 trying to, 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 to block out the economy. But remember, this is for you and this is a good news for you. So if you are planning to go to Dubai, you're planning to go to Abu Dhabi, you're planning to go to the UAE or any of the seven Emirates and you are coming from Uganda, you're a traveler from Uganda, this is good news for you. You should take a negative PCR test that should be taken within the 48 hours before your departure of flight. But remember, the reminder still goes. The reminder still goes to all those that are going to take a negative PCR test. That, on condition that it should be taken or we should be taken from the approved, the government approved healthy facilities that are designed, that are approved to take the PCR test. Not from anywhere. Yes, it may look a little bit very easy, but some people still may not take it or may not, may not want to take it, but to avoid any inconvenience, to avoid any inconvenience if you are traveling from Uganda, you should look for that approved facility to take the PCR test then that is where you should take for the result. And still the reminder, still the reminder by the UAE government that whoever takes a PCR test in Uganda and you, 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 you are going to be a positive, you are supposed to quarantine yourself 
uh, for seven days before, prior to your departure or prior to your take to a flight to the UAE. So hope guys I've tried to share up something. This is very good news for our brothers and sisters who are traveling from Uganda to the UAE. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for watching videos to this channel. By the way, don't forget to subscribe. It's Max from the Malk Max Creation TV. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Remember, we are looking at a road to 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers and it is on your support. It is on your support, guys, I need that we will we take to a road of 2,000 subscribers. Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, uh, please ask whatever you want me to talk about, whatever you want me to talk about, I'll be more than happy. If you feel this video is very helpful, please share it to our friend, share to anyone. Thank you so much, see you again in the next video as we try to see more of interesting information or more of educative information that is going to happen. See you again in the next video.